Willie. Hmm? You got a package from Gallant, South Africa. Oh, my biltong. Biltong? My biltong. What's biltong? African jerky. Oh, God. Anybody who knows about real beef jerky knows about biltong. It's the land of the great meats. You got wildebeest. Biltong is delicious. Kudu. Biltong is pungent. Springbok. Biltong is exotic. Gimsbok. And biltong is really, really fun to say. Is biltong an animal? Biltong is the word for African jerky. Biltong. Biltong. Everybody wants a little biltong. Biltong. Oh, that stinks. It smells delicious. I smell me some meat. Hey, I lost the silk. No, I'm telling you, it's down here. You're right. I smell what it. What you got? What? What's in the box? Tight stuff. So I'm part bloodhound. The nose don't lie. We've been trailing this. Look here. I can smell like a hawk, boys. It stinks, doesn't it? No, it smells delicious. You name it, hey, I can smell it. I smell meat. Ducks, deer, alligator. I got work to do, and this whole office is smelling like dog crap, cotton mouths, case cooking. It's Bill Tom. Bill Tom. I told Bill, you. Bill Tom. Can't sense the smell. From South Africa. Bill Bomb? Bill Tom. It's jerky. Why didn't he say that? That's what he said. I smell meat. Let's eat something. All right, this is mine. I put Jack Links in the break room for you guys. That's why we came in here. No, we ate all that. I just put it in there. I know. That was gone yesterday. I'm not here to feed you guys. You're here to work. Are you serious? You're not going to share that? Mm-hmm. That's just wrong. Now you want to eat it? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Buy your own crap. That's it. I'm out of here. You're a terrible brother. Hey, give me a piece of it. I just licked it. Hey, five second rule. That's when it hits the ground. No, it applies to everything. into a jerk over this jerky. I mean, he's got enough for about three months, which he'll probably consume in three days. We have, as rednecks, the right to eat beef jerky. Do you think the reason he looks like Sasquatch is because he eats so much beef jerky? No, I think that's because he just doesn't care about body appearance. <laughs> uh, beef jerky is a redneck's fuel. John, did you just eat all the Jack Links? I just told Willie we were out. We are. You take away his beef jerky, you're worse than Willie, sitting in the corner, sucking his thumb. Everyone knows that. Sam, what are you doing with that box? This is my complaint box. What are you going to complain about? I'm going to complain about Willie not giving me any of the jerky he just got in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look here. I should have thought of this complaint box years ago. There is so much to complain about around this joint. He's stingy. And selfish. Hey, right, we got no sofas for napping, no iced tea dispenser. They took away camo Friday. We need a lifelong supply of coffee and jerky. No taco truck. Martin's ugly mug. And hey, the peanut to chocolate ratio in the trail mix is on the peanut heavy side. And we need a better grade of toilet paper. That's right. That's a true statement. That toilet paper we got now, it's like John Wayne. It don't take crap off nobody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's why I always go to the women's bathroom. They got better toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Put that in the complaint box. Hey, look, I'm gonna need a bigger box. i tell you what we need to do. We need to make our own jerky. I got a lot of deer meat at the house. I got a dehydrator. Perfect. You don't want to share your jerky? Fine. We'll go get the dehydrator. I'll go get the meat. I'll make my own biltong. We'll make our own jerky. I'll call it Gaystone. Well, let's go right now. And when you ask for some of it, you know what I'm going to say? Can't have any Jace jerky. Now, that rolls off the tongue. Jerky. You know, I'm starting to put the pieces to our problem together. We drink a lot of strong black coffee, we eat a lot of beef jerky, and we use a lot of toilet paper. 
I think y'all crap too much. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Will. Willie. Well, what in the world are y'all doing here? We just got back from the doctor. Uh-oh. You want to help whatever you got? Some of this biltong. Well, simply put. We're dying. What? Miss Kay and I are healthy as we can be, as far as I know. You're dying? You're both dying? One need Dave, we fixed to kick the bucket. If you've made it 65 years, you're like, we're ahead of the game. But we will go. Did he say anything about dying or someone's dying? Yeah, we're gonna die. Mom, I know we're gonna die at some point. He never said specifically what would kill us. We're like everyone else. At some point, presto, they gone. So no one's dying, right? Well, not at the moment. We just want to make sure that what we leave behind is in order. Is this about your will? Who gets what, you know, so oh, you don't fight it. Gosh, all right. So I'm saying, let's go down there, look at the property lines, get it all divided up. Today? Today, right now. Do you know I fell asleep in the bathtub last night, and it's about the hundredth time I've done that? I could just sink on down to that water, and that'd be it. I don't know what the doctors told Phil and Kay, but now they're all fired up about dying. I open the bathroom door, look here. Lay them back in the bathtub. They're being a little melodramatic, if you ask me. Mom, you're not gonna drown. Who drowns in a bathtub? Her cell phone drowned in the bathtub. And four books. They're dead. All of it. I swear, this conversation... Have you thought about just maybe taking a shower? She lives in a bathtub. It's gonna kill me. Look, if it means we can just stop this conversation, I'll come down, we'll look at the property, we'll start from there. You the man. What is that smell? It's Bill Tom. Looks like that's dangerous to your health. I still can't figure out why don't we do this over a map. Well, nothing sticks in a man's ears like his father's voice. Oh, bull crap. This is a terrible plan. Don't you think we should write this down somewhere? A man's word's better than putting it on paper. You ever wonder why families end up arguing over their inheritance? See all this right here in the house behind you? That goes to Alan, your oldest brother. What? Because their parents asked their son who isn't getting the house to remember the will. Why is it Allen's? He's the oldest. It's in the Bible. Tell him, Phil. It dates back to the Old Testament. The firstborn had precedent over all the rest of them. I'm glad I didn't get sacrificed. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. If you want to guarantee that your passing is handled correctly... However, if Al dies... Jason. Well, and my... then next would be Willie. And then it goes to Si. You've got to make sure you have a good backup plan. Size so old as crap. I don't think you want to be working him into the inheritance. Look at him. We never thought he'd live this long, did we? The more backups, the better. You left out one of your sons. Well, that's right. There, no. Backups. What about Jeff? For backups. It really should be Jace. For backups. To Willie. For backups. To Jeff. There you go. Now it's And then to Si, if y'all all die, like, in a plane crash or something. God. Yeah. I probably should leave something to Bobo and JJ, too. We ain't getting any younger, Will. Let's go. Always be prepared. Drive careful. Godwin, show us what you got here. Hey, right, it's jerky time, boys. Man. You know what they say? A man's garage is a reflection of his personality. I got a lot of personality. I see that. Jace, jerky, may have hit its first snag. So where's your dehydrator? It's out here somewhere. We just got to dig for it. <laughs> the good news is, Gawain has a dehydrator. Well, you think you're going to find this dehydrator amongst know. all this? That's also the bad news, because it's somewhere in this shed. The last time I used it, I was uh, not making the sandwich one time. Bike is awesome, Gawain. That's my little mini bike. I raced it. They used to call me the flying flea. <laughs> when I think of insects that remind me of Galvin, now you're the crawling walrus. I'm not thinking about a flea. You can't even get on that now. Uh, I'm still yeah. ride them things. Maybe a stink bug or a giant beetle. I might have put on a few pounds, but I could smoke you on that. <laughs> In other words, something that could eat a flea. You ain't never seen me ride, have you? 
Oh, I don't have to see you ride. Gowan, this is about geometry. You got too much weight. Jace, I'm pretty sure it's physics. Physics, chemistry, geometry, zoology. Let's take it out in the yard. I just hate to whoop a man at his own house. Chow, 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 chow. Oh. Buck, 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 buck. Oh. Buck, 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 buck. I'm with Gowan. Why are you saying I'm a chicken? Gowan, that's a crow. Buck, buck, buck. Let's get it on, boys. Chow. Well, let's do it. Let's get the race hey, done. <laughs> you ain't gonna right. tell me twice. Hey, it's shut up or put up. I think it's actually put up or shut up. It's also physics if we're making corrections. Bill, why we gotta do this today? Well, you never know. I may kick the bucket tomorrow. I'm starting to think this whole inheritance land division thing. You know, they got aerial maps. You can just look at this. You don't have to physically go out and look at it. It's just an excuse for Phil to hang out with me. There's something about eyeballing, getting a visual, good looking pear tree there. I already know the piece he plans to give me, but I'll pretend to be surprised. For me? <sighs> Thank you. Oh, man, this is cool. Yeah, look at that. Carol photograph don't do justice. I actually gotta agree with you. You talk about pretty. This thing's flowing fast, too. It used to flow way more than that. I used to pee in an arc, a high arc. But now you gotta watch your boots, you know what I'm saying? I thought we were having a moment, Dad. Oh, I'm having a moment. Gross. Yeah, old Jace is gonna like this piece. Oh, this is his spot. This is his spot. What do you think? At least you peed on his part. Well, come on, Will. Is that the same hand you just peed with? OK, so Al gets the house, and Jace gets the river. But I'm sure that my piece will have the best hunting locations. I mean, I do run Duck Commander. Oh, I remember this spot, Phil. This is where you whacked your first mile of duck, ain't it? Yep. A lot of memories right here. Old Jeff's going to love this piece. This goes to him. He's a baby. No wonder Phil didn't want to use a map. He should get the lake. He certainly likes fishing during work hours. It would have been too obvious that I was getting screwed. Yeah, you can rethink this thing. You know, it's, it's not official yet. Phil? Hey, all right, we're leaving. Yours is coming up. It'll knock your eyes out. Mm-hmm. Gowan, you look like a big bull riding a skinny cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Save a motorcycle, ride a bull. Hey, give me some gas, sir. All right. Ty, what are you doing? Hey, I'm checking to make sure it's fresh. This stuff will go bad on you. Will it? Yeah. Hey, look here. It's very simple, OK? Hey, you've got to give everything the smell test. Look, you always sniff gas, OK? No, I don't I don't sniff gas. No, look, you got to sniff it. You wouldn't pour yourself a bowl of cereal without checking the milk first. No wonder you are crazy. You've been sniffing what? gas. Hey, you don't do that when you fill up? No. One time I smelled a gas so bad, it knocked me out. Y'all are nuts. Hey, bad gas, OK? Hey, I went down like a sack of potatoes, boys. So si, one day you're going to end up in your underwear, walk around out in the woods, trying to figure out who you hey, are. was you over the house yesterday? No. Well, hey, I was walking around in my underwear yesterday checking something out on my land. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to sit around and we're going to race these things. Let's get it on. This race is a classic battle, man versus beast. Wait a minute. This is supposed to be between Jace and Big Boy here. I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. Well, I guess in this case, it's man versus beast versus little girl. You're always calling me a girl. I'm out here on a bike. I'm out here on a bike. Who's the girl now? You are. Do you want to embarrass yourself? Yeah, there's butterflies on your helmet. Whatever. I'm here for funsies. Knock yourself out. Here's the road. Go around the trees, around the yard, back through here three times. Most important rule, if any of you knuckleheads knock my tee off, you get a swift kick in the butt. Let's race. All right. Gentlemen, start your engine. <laughs> Here comes the fly fleet. You don't have the power. Too much weight. Not enough engine. Full flap. All right, look here. Gowan doesn't look half as bad as I thought. Gowan, you're Gowan, Gowan. It's physics. Hey, don't hit me. Watch where you're going. 
But Jeff, on the other hand, he looks twice as bad. Second lap. Wallace has gained a little ground, boy. So the math works out. You can't win, Gallant. Fly, please, on your turn. Come on. And the winner! <laughs> Consider the lesson. I'm impressed. The flying flea has been swatted. All right, you win. Let's go get the dehydrator and go make some jerky. Oh, yeah, the dehydrator. Hey, that's your second lap. You can go one more time. OK. Hey, uh, hey! <laughs> you turkey. Uh, now we're talking. We got the dehydrator. Where in the crap have y'all been? We got in a motorcycle ready. Oh. I had to give these boys a geometry lesson. It's physics. Pick a number. Huh? Three. One, two, three. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I like your stuff. I got bored. Y'all been gone for four hours. OK. We got a little sidetrack in the pursuit of Galvin's dehydrator. You sure that meat's any good? Huh? But we're one step closer to delicious deer jerky. Hold on. Oh, boy. This meat, on the other hand, it's drawing flies. Yeah, I'm in a lot of flies. Smells a little bit like my underwear. Is cause for concern. Got a fly problem. Hey, Bye. shrapnel, he gone. Ah! What? I think he got <laughs> What'd you do, scare him? He didn't hey, even look, hit anything. Look, I ain't gonna hit the table. I'd break the table. <laughs> Knucklehead. <laughs> hey, look here. I learned a lot from Steven Seagal, OK? These things are legal weapons. Are what? Legal weapons. Legal weapons? Yeah, they're not illegal. Hey, look here. These they're legal. legal. Hey, look here. There's nothing more American <laughs> than a man with a ponytail, <laughs> kicking boat with a pool stick, <laughs> and karate. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look. I don't understand why Steven Seagal doesn't do more movies. I need a knife. You got a knife? Less talking, more cutting. Let's go. Larry. Watch out. Let me cut some. We are so close to the finish line, I can smell it. So you think your underwear smells bad. Smell this. Hey, hey smell this. Back, boy. On second thought, maybe that's not the finish line I'm smelling. I mean, this just stinks. Either way, I can't wait to get my hands on that jerky. This is going to be good. <laughs> you doggone right it is. Hey, it's all like Bill Tone. This is yours. Of course, this ought to bring back old memories. Look ah, right here. Ah, the fence. Remember when you marked this? Yeah. Knocked yourself out with your own post hole diggers. I remember. Which very few men have accomplished. I have some fond memories of the events that took place on this piece of property. Remember you got in the truck? We went up the road there at that little old church. I pulled over in front of all them old women. He just blah, right on the road in yeah. front of Yeah, you were laughing. I had a concussion. It's just not the kind of conduct you would expect out of a future CEO. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, the memories live on. I say that's a good inheritance. Oh, <whistles> uh, but they're all we can take. They're going to put a pipeline right down through this right of way. There's a pipeline coming out? Yeah. Yeah, huh. I already worked out a deal with him. You can build on top of it? No, I wouldn't do that. Nice. Well, other than that, it's a beautiful piece of property, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it's lovely. You get four sons, you say, well, where should Willie's piece of land be? That's why you're the CEO, you're the one can handle that. Then you get to thinking right in the middle. A lot of fond memories. Jace gets a river running through it, and I get a pipeline. Keeping everything held together here. Oh, Will, right in the dead middle. Fun day, Dad. Can't wait to see the pipeline. What does that smell? That's just size underwear. No, it ain't. It's the beef jerky and hay. Let's check it. There's flies everywhere. Oh, it looks right. Mm -mm. This jerky is going to be awesome. Ooh, it's kind of musty. That's worse than Willie's built home. You talking about tough? Yeah. Let's see right here. Uh oh. Okay, maybe edible. Okay, ain't no tearing at all. Nope, that's a dog treat. It yeah, smells like a dog treat. That's pretty good. You like that? <laughs> pretty good. No. It's terrible. This has got a wang to it. No, boys, hey, that's gasoline. 
I know gas, okay? And this is bad gas. Good grief. What'd you clean this out with? Carburetor cleaner. Hmm. What? <laughs> That's never good. Well, if it tastes as bad as it smells, then y'all don't need to be eating it. You want mine? No. Look, y'all just take the company credit card and go buy some Jack Links. Deal. We've struck it rich. Huh? Look, clean this up. I'm locking up, guys. I'm gonna bring it to my dog, Lizzie. Hey, why ain't I got a company card? Hey, that's going in the complaint box. All right, y'all pal. Father, we thank you for your love, your goodness. I thank you, Father, for all my kids that you gave me, my four sons, through Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 On any given day, you expect life to throw you some curveballs. Like Phil taking me out on the land so he can tell me how much I won't be inheriting. Or when the guys blow off work to make jerky that smells like size underwear. It just goes to show you that life isn't always about living up to your expectations. It's the pleasant surprises that keep us coming back for more. Chase, the smell of your jerky's gonna make me vomit. Kind of like a pair of postal diggers. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, we just wasted a whole day. How's that different from any other day?